I was just hoping I could make it up here in time to discuss this fight with you gentlemen. I mean, what was El Nino doing in that fifth and final round? I can't even imagine. But, yes, it was all Leon Edwards, of course. And I thought the cut man did a great job in sort of helping Nate stay in that fight. Um, but, man, there was a three-second hesitation there, I thought, by Nate Diaz after he landed his biggest strike in the fight. And uh, I thought he had a great chance to put Leon away. Were you guys just going sick up here? What? Yes. So huh. I ducked behind Gil. I'll answer your question. What he was, I ducked behind him with my iPhone. I pulled the camera out because I think Nate might stop this fight. And I just want to have Gil. I just want to be able to give him this as a gift, his <laughs> reaction. Because, I mean, right, he was really feeling it. And Nate's pointed at him instead. I don't know. I think when Nate rewatches it, he's going to go, man, there was some real opportunity there. What do you think, Gil? Well, you know, real lifetime, sometimes you don't know you'd rock the nope. opponent, man. You might hit him in the belly. The whole audience sees it, but you're in this chaos right there, and it's nope. really hard to recognize. But he did recognize it, and I got to say, how impressive is it for Nate Diaz, a guy who lost the scorecards, but managed to win the fight or win the, the people over by having the most significant moment, which was that 3-2 combination where he rocked him, put that pressure on him. All he needed was another round. Maybe Maybe another minute. Nate Diaz, if it goes a fight to the death, he always wins. No, that's the truth. And I think for Nate Diaz, too, there was some part of his post-fight interview and things that came to light. Gil, I don't know if you were privy to some of those details, but he dealt with some serious adversity getting ready for this fight. Actually, I was there. In his defense, I was there the day he cut his eye, and they had to push the fight back. I was very bummed about it, and what he said to me is, have you been sparring, Nate? Have you been? No, I have to protect my cut. Yeah. And he said, I got thrown off of my rhythm, right? So when you can't spar and you're sparring everyone, you're feeling great, and all of a sudden you can't spar, you can lose your timing, and maybe you're a little hesitant about getting in there because you can cut your head, right? And yeah. Nate has that scar tissue that's been cut before. So in his defense, yes, I was there the day he split his eye open. It's a bummer that he had to go through that, but he still performed. But this is a game of inches. And when something like that happens, it throws your whole rhythm yeah. off. On the other side, of course, we have the winner of this fight. The 10-fight unbeaten streak is now intact for Leon Rocky Edwards and perhaps didn't get the style points or the finish that might have been useful to absolutely leave. No doubt that he's the number one contender and worthy of that Kamaru Usman fight. But what were your thoughts on Leon over 25 minutes? There was a calmness that was flat impressive. I saw this in Kamaru Usman when he took on uh, Burns, Gilbert Burns. I go, my goodness, this guy can reset. This guy gets frustrated, but he resets. Look, Rocky was out there with a straight face. He dealt, he played what was being dealt to him in many ways. So I got to say, Gilbert and I were right yesterday because Nate laid a trap and Rocky walked into it. Now, yeah. maybe Rocky got the best of him, but this was one heck of a competitive fight for a guy who's had a 50-50 up and down record, hadn't been in the ring in a meaningful period of time against the number three guy in the world. I mean, I got to tell you, Nate Diaz did rope-a-dope this. He did play this thing perfectly well. This was a very competitive match. Leon was better. I don't take that away. And yeah. the one thing that Leon did, he was just able to deal with things. He was able to see it coming, get out of the way, fire back, not get too much emotion. When this fight was over, he cut an interview very calmly. And that is something that you study at home because he's relaxed. He had energy left. That's the point I'm trying to make. You're right. And you made it well. And it was a competitive fight. And the odds did not suggest that it would be. Uh, Gil, what were your thoughts on what Leon Edwards was able to do tonight? A very disciplined fight. You know, when anytime, anytime Nate Diaz gives you a fist bump in the middle of the fight, gives you a little respect, you know you're doing a great job. You know, I, I didn't see him throw any big kicks. You know, if you throw big kicks, Nate's looking to grab him and take you to the ground. He was disciplined and only attacking the lead leg of Nate, not really up to Top. He was able to get his back, neutralize him a little bit, try to stay on top, but not engage too much in the submissions. There was yeah. a moment where Nate tried to attack the hill hook, but he disengaged. He was scoring points. He was being very disciplined. And to be disciplined like that shows a lot about a fighter. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.